What's going on guys? Jacob here from your average dose of video games. We are going to be playing part three of Biomutant. Welcome to Biomutant. Let's see. Uh where we left off, we were capturing captured an outpost. And now we need a Jagni tribe stronghold. Now yeah, we need to go visit Gizmo. Let's see, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. So we wanna visit him down here. Times like this, I do wish that they had a little map. Oh, that's just not the way to go, apparently. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be stores and stuff in here too. Um, I'm not sure where that's at though, or how we get there. Oh, is it all in here? I want to buy some stuff. All right, so says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it right now. All right, I'm gonna choose the jerk move. Why'd you mention it? Untended, the world will go under with time. We'll be around when you return. Um, uh, all right. Okay, so this guy's got stuff for sale. Shopkeeper claims you won't be able to find better goods anywhere else. Says there's usually a line, but today's your lucky day. Just show me your goods. Oh, got mounds in here. I only have 50. Like, I have no way to buy any of those. So, okay. Cool. So we can buy stuff. That's exciting. It's very expensive, though. Oh, did I just... Did I go the wrong way? Uh, I think I did. That's annoying. Okay, wait. So we just went back this way. Went up there. How the hell do you get out of this place? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the main door. Alright, so let's go see here if... Yeah, so this guy, he's right by this, so we're just gonna... Ah, uh, so I can't... Can't fast travel? Territory not marked. Huh. Alright. Down there. Fast travel to that. But I can't fast travel down here. Alright. We'll just hoof it.
So it makes me wonder if we end up getting a mount, is it going to be faster? I assume so. Yeah, I would assume so. Or there is no point. It's time for an adventure, for good or bad. That's a gnote. Easy prey for Loopa Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. Um. Glide under it. It said all. There we go. Oh. Awesome. Now I got a mount. Oh. <laughs> I, I, uh, glad I didn't kill it. All right. Cool. I don't know if we're moving any faster, but totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. This is that was not a good cutscene camera. That's some sharp wood scrap there. Watch for splinters. the chug yard right. Not through there oh that's cool so you can just spawn different mounts apparently all right, so we need to figure out a way to get in here. This won't be a field. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the under yard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here. Big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to. And then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. All right. So this is apparently how we get in. for scrap and the yard has plenty to go around but they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets bomber bonkers busy ram banging the door this is your chance not enough key energy Well, 
Actually, I lost quite a bit of health there. A story has got to keep moving forward. Thanks for your help, Gizmo. Oh, this ain't him, apparently. Oops. I don't know why I just sat there while he was apparently attacking. Alright, so it's the sprocket. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end in flames. That's how we do it. Let's see. All right, so now we got the ability to fast travel. Should be fast travel there if we wanted. Yeah, we don't have that yet, but all right, cool. Let's go see here. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wombo, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle, and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Loop in a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Is how you shine light at the dark. Seriously, don't doubt the dark. Oh. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Can't believe you let that loser sway you. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? They are. Supposes that's all any of us can do. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. 
Figures everyone does. They seem unusually dedicated to finding them. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Pup. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination. All right, so we need to go salvage a bunch of stuff. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Damn, so... See what my uh check out those guns. That ain't bad. Alright, so if I go look at my Sorry points. That's kind of nice. actually be really nice okay we'll just take that and I'm gonna go ahead and get that one let's see here because for the back Those look sharp on you. I don't have like any. Don't even have any craft. Have any add ons? All right, we got a whole lot of nothing. 
so. How am I supposed to go through here? That's the leftover you're looking for. Okay, that was weird. Don't understand why at the moment it's going back up. When When I think that like this whole area would still be affecting me in a negative way. Thought that was just regular water. Easy for things to hide down here. Jeez. All right, so like if I go, we need that. But it's just so weird that if I go in here, like I can't, um, uh, can't do anything. Guess let me eat another consumable here. So the question now is I need to Okay, return to Gizmo. The other I can't just cannot fast travel from here. Alright, so I do need to unfortunately go back the way that I came. There's nothing over here on this floor, I guess. All right. Something back here. Take it as easy as you can. Well, at least we're back real quick. So other than having to use like two health potions, it wasn't terrible. 
He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor in... He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles, so you can pass and access hard-to-get-to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the strips. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find strips is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. He noticed the Jumbo Puff has a short attention span, so the Squip should distract it long enough for you to inflict some damage. Alright, so we get to... Get to use this. Doesn't look like when I'm in here. Okay. So that's cool. Now I don't have to worry about uh, getting all this, uh, not being able to breathe here, this dead zone. The grease monkey's mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? I feel like these are the uh, machines there in the, like the Matrix Reloaded. They're just sitting there. Waiting for the Sentinels to come and attack. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Gets why you're thinning the herd so hard, but he wishes you'd leave some monsters for everybody else. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights, and they keep putting up new ones. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that. 
right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Cherry Mafia. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable dead zone. Okay, so... Did get this right. Let's make sure we did, because I don't think we did. Let's see. It was really weird how you come up here and it was like a cutscene just to show him that he was there. And then you walk literally a step and it's like, oh, cutscene. Let's get back in Don't waste this guy. Let's go to the Squip Cave. Squib it. That's how you pronounce it. So this thing has guns. Cool. Wait, it's the script hole up. The place is just filled with critters. Shouldn't take much more. So I can't get that from in here, so let me get out. Whoa, smell that? Biohazard nearby. That's more than stuck. Let's see, can I shoot that? Nope. Right, Some me... places a mechton just can't go. This door's open. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Just walk carefully around. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. History is nothing but a series oh, of crap. stories. I figured it was just going to be space bar still. Oh, okay. So each time it is completely different. It's the first time they've done that to me.
like nothing. This is saying thief and a rat, right? Away this time. Choose the creature's fate. I will pet and keep creature. All right, let's see. Oh, that's a new gun, I guess. Oh, very cool. So now it's just telling me to find the lock. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. These puzzles are, I don't know. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. I kind of wish that they weren't even there, to be honest. They're just not much of a puzzle. Blade screaming, beware. The Gru Blade. It's like a paddle. All right. Area now complete. Oh, and then that's the door that I was trying to pound open earlier. Everyone should have one of these. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. And I feel like it's taken forever to get back. Uh, oh, that's because we're going way back to Gizmo. Okay. I thought we were going back to the... Uh, whoever that guy, whatever his name was, we were just talking to. That's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. That's the special weapon he made to store the scripts in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You will need the Mecton to do the job. Take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. 
There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mechton with on your own. It's already quite sturdy, but upgrading it will greatly improve your chances of victory. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Can't believe you turned out so good after the horrors you saw at the claws of Lupa Lupin. I was not dark. Understands completely. Well, I bally by you. Gizmo wants to help if he can. <laughs> Says you should take care. All right, so now we can go defeat the Jumbo Puff. So let's see, that is way out there, and that's all through the dead zone. So I guess let's see here. If I'm going to now, this is the way to travel. I'm gonna go try and do this. Let's see here if we can't defeat it. Or we end uh part three here. It's way out here though. There's still time before the dawn. First I was like, oh we're traveling pretty good now. Uh, I feel like that there's uh numbers there for our distances going slow. Definitely not a whole lot out here. No. Itchy trigger finger. I don't know who, who these guys are. Just start shooting. I was gonna say, am I still going the right way? Because I didn't see my waypoint. Right between the eyes. Let's also try to level up here. Shrug it all off. All right, so we have five bio points. However, nothing to be. Nothing really that I want at the moment. You know, I just noticed that in the bottom left there is a compass, and um, I kind of wish that there was a mini map there instead. Just didn't mean to technically get out. Everyone's going to hear you're coming. I guess um, it'll be interesting to see how easy. Oops. Button. Oh. It'll be interesting to see how easy it is to beat this guy without actually doing all the upgrades and stuff.
there, Joe. Just break on right through. And at least gets us where we need to be going. I gotta go up this way. Apparently I can't drain that whole thing. This is a long trip out here. Time for another day to begin. Apparently in our traveling out here, we already went through one, uh, one day's worth. SOB. That's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. I'm getting caught on these buildings. Kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Jeez. Oh.
Not sure what I was exactly supposed to to do there. Oh, he's getting back up there already? Wow. I chose to get more health because um, I don't want to die. I can't even say that this boss battle has been been remotely interesting so far. Just kind of. What a bad feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stuck. Oh no. Did I die? Start like a snap. No. And you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end stage. Look at you, all pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. Wow, really? Death is just the beginning. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Okay, so I basically just have to... Okay, so I gotta figure wow, out a way to get out of here. That must be if the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. I had no you know idea what, what it uh, wanted me to See, do. What's on the inside that counts? That meaty Taurus is already off beat. End it. Better pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. Ooh, would have guessed it would go down with a throw up. Could it really get any better than that? Well, we did it. Awesome. He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Well, that is awesome. So we got, it looks like, side quest here. Gizmo will always make time for you. Welcome. Glad to see you up at the crack of dawn like this. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Gizmo will always make time for you. Doesn't believe you're such a fool. Says it's good to see your still. Says you'll see each other later. Gizmo will always make time for you. Wishes you goodbye. That was weird. I don't know why he had like a... No. Maybe it was just completing it. I don't know. That's weird. Alrighty guys. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save it here. We are going to uh, go ahead and end part three. Here uh, we defeated a world eater. That is awesome. And what do we have? We have like two left. I think there's two other ones. Um, I don't even know. It tells me. No, it doesn't. I think there's at least two other ones. There might be three other ones, but we'll just have to see. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think so far of this. What did you think of that uh, that World Eater battle? Um, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of whatever to me. It wasn't nothing exciting. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know. 
it you know just seemed like any other normal encounter i guess in this game and i don't know if it was i mean i'm playing on easy but i don't know if it was necessary to keep working to upgrade um machine that we were using um because it wasn't it wasn't horrible trying to defeat him so let me know in the comments down below guys what you think and uh make sure you like this video subscribe if you guys haven't uh click the thumbs down button if you didn't like this video and then let me know in the comments why until next time guys i will see you have a good one